Lindsay, thank you. We are following breaking news from overnight in Treme. Two women are dead following a shooting at the corner of North Claiborne and Dumain Streets. The shooting, the latest to involve women in New Orleans. Leah McNeil is live at the scene this morning with more. Leah. Leslie, as you can see, NOPD is still out here on the scene in the 1100 block of North Claiborne, still investigating that double homicide, as you mentioned, left two women dead. As you can see behind me, they are still actively working to gather evidence. We've seen them a little bit further back from where we're standing inside the crime scene tape. They've been spending a lot of time around a white Jeep um, that we've seen. We've seen them flashing flashlights on it. I did see some detectives uh, with some evidence uh, markers and evidence bags pick up, um, being picked up, and also still talking to some people who are still here on scene about what transpired here um, earlier this morning when they got that call at 131 um, of a shooting here in this area. Again, details are very limited, but we do know once they did get on scene, they found two women uh, with the gunshot wounds. They transported them to the hospital where they died shortly after they arrived. Um, this clearly is still under investigation with police still here on scene, but this is just another incident, uh, another deadly shooting that NOPD is investigating. One just happened yesterday afternoon right there in the east at the intersection of Mayo Road and the South I-10 service road. That was when one woman was shot and killed in her car. We were on scene at that incident. We did hear a lot of emotion coming from some people in that area that were on the scene with one man screaming emotion uh, with a whole lot of emotion, just tears that that was his daughter. We still are waiting for an identity um, for that victim. But three women killed uh, here in the city of New Orleans in less than 24 hours. So just something that it's a trend that we have been seeing for going on for a couple of years now. Two of the latest deaths um, are startling trend for women that have been being killed in the city of New Orleans. The numbers just last year at some points were around or even higher than the number of women that were being killed before Katrina when we had a higher population. That's a statistic that City Council Vice President Helena Moreno is not happy with were higher than they've been since 1996. You also have to remember that in 1996, we had 70,000 more women living in New Orleans than we do now. It's just still so gut-wrenching and horrible to see what we're, what we're seeing in our streets. And the fact that now we're seeing women impacted at, at these levels, it's, it's tragic. Now, with both of these shootings, these fatal shootings, investigators are still working to figure out a motive and identify suspects. So clearly very early on in this investigation, as always, if you know something, if you saw something, if you heard something, reach out to NOPD with any information or to Crime Stoppers where you can always remain anonymous. Reporting live in Tremaine, Leah McNeil, Eyewitness News.